Greetings, I'm Jonathan Spear, I need a better calculator, and welcome to Age of Engineering Super Shorts. Today, I want to enter the Atomic Age. For that, I want the Atomic Calculator. The main gating component behind this is the Atomic Assembly, which requires atomic modules, which requires iridium reinforced plates. I had iridium a long time ago because of the molecular transformer, but apparently I wasn't supposed to be able to get that that early, so I just didn't use the immense amount of iridium I had for the Atomic Assembly. But now that I'm properly ready for age 8, I can make the Atomic Calculator guiltlessly. It does help that I got an Atomic Assembly for my circuit extraction system, so I don't currently have any need to go through this complicated crafting process. I'll just need a calculator screen, and four reinforced stone. And now I can make the atomic calculator. Atomic age achieved. I'll just place that right here with the other calculator trophy. Next up, I want to make the dynamic calculator. It combines the features of the atomic calculator, basic calculator, and scientific calculator. One advanced assembly, two atomic modules, and a dynamic calculator. The dynamic calculator requires no power for operation, so I'll never need these first three calculators again. Next up, I'm going to make the conductor mass, which generates passive power and converts fire diamonds to electric diamonds. 16 compressed coal balls, 8 power cubes, 8 purified coal, and 8 energy modules, which don't stack. Fire diamonds are another story. I need blaze rods. But I recently created a set of scripts for peaceful players that lets you craft mob drops, at a reasonable price, of course. And I installed it on this mod pack. Blaze rods require blaze powder, and blaze powder requires demon ingots. To get demon metal, you throw gold into a pit of lava surrounded by nether bricks. With four blaze rods and eight diamonds, four fire diamonds. And four conductor masts. I've placed these conductor masts on a design that is likely to change. And now, 96 weather stations. I ended up switching to the mining dimension because it's far too laggy in the main one. And now the weather stations are placed. Now the last bit, 129 transmitters. I need a lot of materials. 129 fire diamonds. And I can put fire diamonds in conductor mass to get electric diamonds. And that's 129 electric diamonds. And now for 129 transmitters. And now they're all placed. This system makes at least 28,000 to 32,000 R per tick. So I'm stripping out my canola system to make room for better power storage. All cleared out. Later, I'm going to expand my power storage, but not right now. Right now, I want a better circuit processing system. Originally, I was using extraction chambers, which take cobble and make damaged circuits, and reassembly chambers, which take the damaged circuits and make them into unanalyzed circuits. Those got sent into the analyzing chamber, where they got analyzed and turned into normal circuits. Instead, I'm going to use precision chambers and processing chambers, which work a lot faster. Flawless diamonds are an important component, which I'll be able to grow later. Processing chambers will repair any kind of circuit. Precision chambers will extract specific circuits, or any circuit at all. Five precision chambers fed by a cobblestone generator. Analyzing chambers can be adjusted with a PA wrench. The analyzing chamber extracts random items from unanalyzed circuits. And a red side means that you can extract the items from that side. A green side lets you extract analyzed circuits. Hoppers extract analyzed circuits from the analyzing chamber into a controller slave into this bank of drawers. Finally, a transfer node pulls out the extra items into the storage crate. The side of these chambers with a PA wrench so that they would output properly. Same for the processing chambers. Next up, I want to make the flawless calculator, the final tier of calculators in the mod. Notably, it requires an N diamond and a flawless assembly. Unfortunately, this time I didn't have the luck to get an atomic assembly right from the get-go. Four atomic modules, eight advanced assemblies, an atomic assembly, and a flawless assembly. And last but not least, the flawless calculator. The flawless calculator is usable for a number of things, especially the diamond sapling. Diamond sapling achieved. No, this is a pear sapling, which requires amethyst and tanzanite saplings. I'll also need an algorithm assimilator, which will automatically and perpetually pull flawless and weakened diamonds from the tree. I'll need a sickle from a reinforced shovel and reinforced axe, which are made with reinforced stone, and I'll have my algorithm assimilator. To grow the sapling, I have to place it on an end diamond block. Place down the block, and grow the sapling. It only takes one bone meal. And now, the algorithm assimilator will slowly collect flawless diamonds and weakened diamonds. I've made two drawers right here to hold the diamonds. Next up, I'm going to make the fabrication chamber, which lets you make things like speed upgrades. One reinforced chest, one storage chamber. Note, these can store an enormous amount of one type of circuit. And finally, a fabrication chamber. I want to make speed upgrades which require this type of circuit. The fabrication chamber requires a storage chamber next to it with the circuits that you need. And it requires no power. It does take a while to fabricate after you press the button, though. 
Once you have the speed upgrades, you can right-click on a machine to install them. Speed upgrades increase the energy usage of these machines. However, according to the mod pack author, there's a set limit on how much energy they can take in, 100 RF per tick. So adding any more than one speed upgrade causes the machine to stop entirely. However, adding energy upgrades in a number equivalent to the number of speed upgrades you put in decreases the energy usage back to 100 RF per tick. I can't be perfectly certain if the machines are running any faster, but circuits and the upgrades that they create are practically free, and so I have no qualms about adding more. Next, I want to make two weather controllers. I've just crafted my second nether star, courtesy of my peaceful pack recipes. They're quite complicated, and the number of steps involved, I think, offsets the lack of fighting. I'll also want six rain sensors, which are daylight sensors in a bucket. And with that, two weather controllers. With a rain sensor and an inverted daylight sensor that works at night, these two weather controllers will keep the day sunny and clear at all times. Just discovered a bug with calculator greenhouses. Whenever they harvest a potato and replant it, they take one potato from every single seed stack in their inventory. And they try to fill their inventory full of potatoes first. Thus, at worst, you could lose nine potatoes every single time you grew a potato. To fix this, I just filled the seed slots with dirt except for the first one. Now it only uses one potato per plant. The last thing I want to do in this age, at least on camera, is expand my solar panel. I've already upgraded my structure blocks to tier 3, and I have all the extra materials I need, except for the solar panel controller tier 3, which needs stabilized ender pearls, which needs end diamonds. Good thing I have access to those now. In the process of making this, I had to turn on both my diesel generator and my advanced generator system. I also discovered that the greenhouse spits items on the ground if it has no space for them. To fix this, I made a void drawer for potatoes, and it inserts on priority negative 1, whereas over here it has priority 0. It also extracts on the green channel. Without further ado, a solar panel controller tier 3. Tier 3 solar panel achieved. And that's it for today's episode. Next episode, I'm going to jump into the new age. Between episodes, I'm going to set up a better power storage system and try and get the power from my conductor mass over to my storage room. As always, I'd love feedback on what I'm doing. I hope you enjoyed!